care council. Right. So the back of the FIA building mm -hmm. um, houses not only 80 carts, and four service carts, and the dev carts, also the maintenance farm. So our maintenance company, Valley Crest, has all their green mowers, their rough mowers, their air fires, their spray rigs, it's all in there. Well, part of the deal would be to construct just on our property, on the, that would be on the left-hand side of number nine, Fairway. That's one site, a building with six doors, and a maintenance barn and apartments. Now, it's still up for debate because we did acquire that property at the left of number 10 now, where the old condos were. So we have to look at everything, but that was the original. Uh, Mr. Weichel's company did a rendering for us of the, of the cart barn. And as you said, Customer Willie, it is electric, so you got to run all that wire in there so that you can plug all 80 carts in, and you know you may need a higher roof for a lift to get, you know, when they work on their maintenance equipment. And so it would be built to build to what we need. So it would be upon our approval. But water and sewer and all that. Oh yeah, all of that stuff would have to be done. It would have to be, uh, you know, all permits pulled so it would be done, you know, in city compliance. So, but that was the idea because that does house our cart and maintenance facility. So you're so saying they're going to take that responsibility of rebuilding that? Yes, but that's $300,000 in the deal. So it's a, it's a million dollar on the sale and $300,000 for the car farm. So a total of $1.3 million. What if the car farm is only $250,000? What if it's $400,000? Well, I think they did. <laughs> 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 We had some bids before that, uh, and render what it is. I mean, you're going to be in control of that 300000 and what's put in there. Uh, it's basically a upper mid-grade uh, building that we spec'd out and we actually got other car barns that have been made and delivered for that amount. But of course, you can always gold plate the car barn, but I don't think you want to gold plate no. the car barn. But you know, that what it would be is a more modern uh, uh, facility, uh, but, you know, I think, you know, you, you control what happens to that $300,000. Okay. It's basically it's, it's grown. Based on what I recall, that was pretty close to, to what we would need uh, based on the, the analysis done then. Mm -hmm. Correct. Hey, question. Uh, would you be looking, because I know the lot next door is a private resident, the lot in between that is city owned. Are you looking to acquire any of that? We uh, would be interested in, you know, again, creating jobs, economic development, and we'd be interested in a lot. We did the uh, Edison building before. We acquired a couple additional lots that we, incur, you know, included to, you know, make it look nicer. So we'd be open to that, certainly. Because I think that one in between, one lot over is only by the city. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out getting inventory on all the city-owned lots and parcels and property. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we get people that call and say they want to donate, you know, dead lots because they don't want to pay taxes on it anymore. I mean, historically, some some administrations have accepted them and others haven't. So we're we're really trying to figure it all out. The lot is that the Is that to the east? To the east. Second lot. Second lot over. We still, no matter what, have to go through site plan approval and get approval of, uh, you know, any uh, typical project as we went forward. So we, we follow all those policies, procedures, and processes. Okay. Number 16, uh, a motion to approve the appointment of base and something. Okay. <laughs> Let me look at the name. Otiano? Otiano. How does that sound? Um, she gave it quite an impressive resume. And uh, any other discussion? Um, number 17 is a motion to approve the reappointment of Lois Adams, Lois Nemeth, and Donna Petrie to the Beautification Commission. And, um, of course, yeah, we didn't get any information on those three individuals at all. I know that they're reappointments, but I, again, as I said about every, you know, other issues on how they can make informed decisions and mm -hmm. to ask to vote on 
on something with absolutely no information. We can do our know best. We know in the past. You know, we we will do our best to, to, to try to get these. If you guys want to postpone them, the issue is is these are really inactive commissions. I mean, these are beautification yeah. commissions. It's it's you know a lot of these volunteers they you know especially in something like this they may not want to put a lot of time into a resume. I mean, I, we'll we'll try. Exactly. And really, it doesn't have to be. I mean, the, the library. No, I understand. That was really detailed. I mean, it, it could yeah. say that person's name. They've been a resident this many years. What was the yeah, Adam? Have you been doing this for quite some time? Yeah, and she's, I know her personally. Without knowing that, I wouldn't know that. Right. Or, she's a retired job. Yeah, retired job. That's all. I mean, I have to yeah. get something that just said that she's retired because she lived here 27 years or whatever it is. Or even their phone something. numbers, like. <laughs> or, I mean, again, and again, if you guys, if you guys want it, you, you can postpone it. We can try to get you that information. It, it becomes quite a process to track down some of this and ask for people, especially on these reappointments for something like the Beautification Commission or, you know, the, because they're, they're really not, I mean, they're active commissions, but they don't meet a lot and, and you know, it's so, um, you, you know, certainly we, we can try to get some of that for you, um, maybe even just phone numbers for you guys to reach out on these folks and, and, and have some dialogue, that'd be fine. Um, you, know, you know, I don't know if those would be housed in HR or we, we can try to find out though. Um, I'm sorry, before we go on, is, Teresa, do you know is Faith going to be here tonight? I, I contacted her, I'm not sure. Okay. I used so the personal message and an email message. I'm not positive. If she is, we just let uh, somebody know so we can swear her in. Certainly. Okay. Um, I'm not prepared to swear her in. Oh, you're not? I have to prepare a certificate and stuff. I have. So I would need to know, like, okay. <laughs> How about Tom Long on the next one, then? I didn't know I was going to be here tonight. Okay. Item number 18 is a motion to approve appointment of Tom Longo to the Board of Review for two years. And we could get a yeah. resume yeah. of information. 19 is a motion to approve the settlement agreement as presented and recommended. Um, Twenty motion to approve periodic short-term interim interfund cash for cash for fund of water and sewer fund for general fund. Thank you. Uh, in the amount of seven million five hundred thousand dollars. I just have one uh, question: Are we paying eighteen thousand seven hundred ninety-seven dollars in interest? Uh, we're, we're, are you getting 18000 It's approximately 30000 That's about 30000 It depends on when we actually start paying it back and when we actually start borrowing. Um, well, if you add up the repayments, you're looking at probably last year. I, I give you the, the cash flow analysis that I provided to you is from December 2012 through um, November 2014, and the reason why I went back that far is because I wanted you to see how we handled the previous borrowing. Oh, this isn't how we plan on paying This one here is the estimated. Yeah, everything should have been. Everything was. We don't have that. Here, you want to make some copies and pass that around. Um, that's what's anticipated in terms of what it's going to be used for, what the repayment schedule is going to be, or estimated. 